three, two, one. Hey guys, it's Chris. And Fer. It's CD2 Fish and you already know us. Uh, or if you don't, hey, thanks for checking us out. And if you do, thanks for checking us out. We appreciate it. You guys have no idea how much it means to know that we've just got a core group of guys that are back every week. Uh, literally, guys, you think it's just a simple video you're watching. It, it literally means the world to, to me and Fur. So uh, I'll just go ahead and lead off with thank you. Um, you know, I, I, all the long nights and, and long days and everything and days turning into night and all that, it, it, you know, it, it makes us feel like it might actually be worth it at the end of the day. So thank you guys. We're here. We're switched up. I stumbled across the deal a while back. You guys noticed that number six. I'm sure you guys have, you know, been following Ben Milliken and the craze of him getting in the opens and all that. And we fished with six cents for a little while and uh, got a, a lot of six cents baits and stuff like that. And, you know, I, I don't want to get into it, but you guys know there's, and, and I'm going to call it fake internet beef between Guggen and six cents. I don't really care about any of that. I think it's the fans of each that really cause the most issues, not the people involved with the companies themselves. Um, I don't have anything bad to say about anyone from either company. But again, I don't want to get in that. You guys can do your own research on that. Guys, a while back, I was searching through Six Sense website and I was looking at their bundles, just bored. You, you know how it is with us fishermen. We get bored and we start zooming through and we're supposed to be doing something else and we find ourselves two and a half hours on a website looking at bait we probably never need. And I stumbled across the garage sale sack. We used to do the monthly mystery sacks from them. Came in like a little velvet bag. Always had neat stuff. I thought I had one of their little bags over here, but maybe I don't. But anyways, now yeah, that that's that's for a different time. But um that was a monthly subscription we did. I, I haven't got them lately. I actually did talk to Fur about it. I think we're gonna get back on there and start doing that monthly again. Um, but guys, while I was looking at that, I noticed the garage sale sack. And it tells me that there's something like $265 worth of baits for $99.99. If you have watched this channel for any length of time, you know that every bell, whistle, and alarm in my brain went, Deal! Ding, 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 ding! And I had to get it. But here's the kicker. Another thing you know about me, and maybe this young man next to us, if you've watched this channel for some time, we forget everything. Fast forward four to five months after they dropped the garage sale sack, dear old dad here goes, huh, I wonder if they still have it. And guess what? They do! I wasn't expecting it to come in this sweet little tackle bag. I, that was a sight for sore eyes to open, and I thought it was going to be one of the big velvet sacks. So I figured, let's buy it and do an unboxing. So, without further ado, do you want the honors of this one? Uh, All right, we're going to swing it on around and unbox this puppy. That bag is slap full, guys. Like, it's fixing to blow the zipper off of it. Whoa, mama. It really is full. Like, like guys... Like, look at this. This is my hand for reference. This is Christopher's big old head for reference. He might get it from his father. Who knows? I think he just gets his dashing good looks. What do you want first? What do you want first? What do you want first? What do you... I wanted that first. I wanted that first, too. No, you can have it. I want that. All right, you want to do that one for real? Yeah. All right, I'll quit bullying him. Um, a Provoke 106X. What color is that? That's a sweet color. Vendetta. Vendetta. I don't know what purple and that pattern has to do with having a vendetta with something, but I've got a big vendetta to, with uh, largemouth bass here in the and state of Florida. Top color on that. Guys, I will tell you right now, if you have not fished a provoked jerkbait from Six Cents, do yourself a favor and pick one up. Um, I switch it up. You know, each company's got different color patterns. One time on the boat, you might see me with a, um, a Guggen... Um, was it a scout? Yeah, a Guggen Scout. Guys, I need some sleep. 
you might see me on here with this. You might see me on a Mega Bass uh, 10, uh, the 10, 110, what is it? The 110 plus? I think. I think. So. Yeah, the uh, deeper dive ones. You may see me with a 106, or a Provoke 106 DD. It, th these are killer. The action on them is insane. My nephew, he caught a ton on Lake Russo with this. And it's funny, he was catching a ton of them with a 106 Provoke. And I was catching them on the Guggen jerk bait and Pearl Bone, and he had a different color on. So, can never have too many jerk baits. I, I was never a big jerk bait guy, and I'll tell you right now, that's probably one of my favorite lures to throw. So, what's my turn? How about I close my eyes and you put it in my hand? Hurry up. I feel my beard growing. I Whoa! Dug, I dug to the bottom for those. Dang! Some sweeps. These are a soft plastic swim bait from Six Sense, and that is Cajun Gill. See it right there, guys? That's cool. Yeah, I'm pretty intrigued about that. I'm uh, wondering what hook to throw on that. What do you think? Probably, uh, probably like a big eight aught, I would guess. Seven or eight aught. Belly, belly weighted one. That, I think I'm gonna throw them Saturday in our tournament. I think I'm gonna try to tournament fish with those Saturday. That's sick. Heck yeah, that was a six inch sweep. You pick one for me, I'm gonna try to guess what it is. I'm just digging deep, bruh. Oh, nice. I got some stuff hidden in here. This is one of your colors you like, too. Oh, I don't know. I know it's some sort of soft plastic, but mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. Ooh. The prawn. Grax candy. Yep, that's gonna be like your sprayed lettuce, guys. Six cents calls it grass candy. Um, beautiful color, versatile color works in a lot of different bodies of water um this has a little bit more of like a watermelon color uh, on the one side of it instead of a june bug so maybe that's where the grass candy name comes from because sprayed lettuce in my opinion is june bug and uh like green with it so this is slightly different these are awesome you can use them flipping trailers on an EWG hook, toss them around, whatever you want. It's a very versatile bait. We've caught a ton of fish on those over the last year. Um, I guess I'm just going to start picking away at them. What do we have here? Oh, one of the Axes 2.0s. This is the OG, guys. A lot of people, yeah, just do your research on these. Uh, Six Sense was the first one to do this. This is the one that has the articulating side-to-side uh, -side motion. Not articulating, but side -to I guess it is articulating, but side-to-side -side motion. So it's really erratic. Swims crazy. You can burn it. You can work it and pause it. You can do erratic stuff. It's just these are killer. We've got some fish on the Harris chain with them. This particular color right here is bluegill spawn. And uh, boy, oh boy, did I wish I opened this sooner because the bluegill spawn is actually slowly coming to an end. Probably could have crushed him on that one. What's next? Vega frog. Oh, this is up first, Allie. He's black. the frog man. All black Vega frog. They're awesome. The profile on them's great. One thing I would recommend, and this goes for pretty much every company for frogs, trim those back, uh, you know, the, the back legs down on it, bend the hooks out slightly, send it. That's money. Next up, the Sixth Sense Munch 40. And that is in that black magic color. I love that black magic color. I've been obsessed with it. This is actually the first munch I've ever gotten. I do not know a lot about it. It is a square bill. It's got kind of a wide sweeping bill on it. I'm assuming it's got a pretty erratic action. Small profile. It's a two and a half inch bait. That just looks like a fun little bait. Maybe bump that off a rip wrap, work it around some docks. All around good one. What you got, kid? The Axel Swinging Swim Jig. Yeah. With the black and blue. Yep, black and blue on that. What's really cool with a lot of these darker colors on them, the eyes almost glow on them. It's really wild looking. I like I, I just get mesmerized by the eyes that they put on these things. Is this they're cool. Um this one here, guys, another one, Axel, that pivots. So when you're going, the hook actually moves up and down in the head. It actually has movement with it. Adds a nice little touch to it. A recommendation on these to you guys, use a little bit softer trailer on them. 
Um, that way you allows a little bit of flex. There's there's some of your soft plastic like paddle tails and stuff like that that people opt for trailers. And there's some of those bodies are just pretty rigid. Um, it, it really, in my opinion, again, guys, just my opinion for what it's worth, I run a little bit softer trailer on the back of it so we get a little bit more movement out of it. Um, hey, I just bought one of these, what, two days ago? Mm -hmm. Now, this is a quarter ounce. This is a little more of a finesse spinner bait. This is their brand new Divine, guys. And this is Blue Truce Flash. Again, a quarter inch Divine. These just came out not too terribly long ago. This is a double willow blade, very small blade profile. You're getting around small bait, um, stuff like that, um, hatchet, uh, fry, different things like that. Uh, shad spawn, when the shads are real small, something like that is gonna absolutely crush them. We need to throw that on Griff. Mm -hmm. now, on Lake Griffin on the Harris chain, and it's weird because it's the only lake on the Harris chain that we've seen this kind of deal happen. Those big bass will blow up on minnows no bigger than that. They will not, they'll swipe it. Um, like I was throwing a six cents flush, which is their uh, soft plastic jerk bait, um, like, like a fluke. And um, they would swipe at it. We caught one or two and it seemed like the more we would size our bait down, the better the bite, the better the fish. Why not a quarter inch small profile blade like that to imitate those bait fish? Ooh, you see what's hiding in there? Oh. Yeah, you do that one. Cause I'm gonna do the bigger one under it. <laughs> Fast sink trace. What color is that? The color's gonna be on the bottom on the trace. Bluegill. 4K, 4K bluegill. That is awesome. Let me pop that out. This yeah. is the smaller one, guys. This is the five inch. This is a um, jointed body. Check that out, guys. Six cents on the color on these things is amazing. This is just a jointed body swim bait. This is the fast sink. They have it in slow sink, fast sink. They also have some of these larger bodied ones in floating. Um, again, right now, bluegill spawn, that's perfect eating size for big bass right there. Word to the wise, if you guys don't have a bait coffin for these, keep them in their original box. It keeps your tails in good shape. Now, since we're on that kick, Big Daddy will pull out the bigger version. This, guys, is going to be a bluegill spawn color. This is the six inch trace. This is a slow sink model. 1.65 ounce, six inch body. Another bluegill color. They've got a lot of really nice bluegill patterns from Six Cents on these guys. Right there, that's gonna be your bluegill spawn color. The swimming action on these are great. I've got another bluegill color on a slow sink. I was throwing it on Lake Harris up in the Palakalaha River. Just, it's an amazing bait all the way around, guys. What you got? What you got? What you got? What you got? 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 What you got? What you got? What you got? 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 Hey, another black one. The flat finesse F4. Yep. In black magic. Now it's a flat sided square bill. They use a composite bill. Uh, this is more of a finesse type crankbait. It's in the name. Does this one even rattle? Okay, you do get this one has a rattle. Listen, that's actually a gnarly rattle. They also have these in silent, guys. And that bill on there, you notice it's a composite bill instead of a plastic one. Um, they're pretty neat. You get a little nice little little tight uh, sweep on it like that. Um, they're pretty good. I don't throw a lot of flat sided ones. I did tear them up on a six cents flat side, actually in 4K bluegill. And uh, I caught a couple nice ones. It, uh, it dove a lot farther than I thought it was, honestly. Next up is a Six Cents Movement ADX. That's kind of a funky body style on that. That is called Custom Bluegill. Again, guys, hooking us up with the bluegill colors. Bluegill is a, a, a main forage here on a lot of the lakes we fish. Golden, uh, Golden Wild Chiners and Shad. Regular Shad or Gizzard Shad uh, here in Florida. That's our main forage. But for the most part, the lakes we usually fish are predominantly going to be bluegill and uh, uh, shiner, wild shiner. Um, this one right here, it's a it dies one to three feet. It's 80 millimeter in length. Coloring's cool. Just a different kind of shape on that body. That's going to be a fun one to throw around. Sorry, buddy. Ooh. Ooh. Catwalk with the black magic. Oh, sick. I was just talking about buying a catwalk. That's a walking bait, topwater walking bait, guys. If you go back in a couple of our tackle talks, 
we uh when they unveiled the new magnum catwalk so just picture that catwalk right there with another two inches longer it's a giant uh a la the um magnum spook that's cool that's that's getting tied on i love a walking bait if i'm throwing top water i love a walking bait majorly and i guess we're just going to keep up with the bluegill theme here's a crush 100x square bill guys that is bluegill fire like i said they have a ton of awesome bluegill colors that one right there it's two to five feet just a typical square bill these run really true really nice not a lot of tweaking great hooks from the factory again they're just an all-around just really really nice square bill crankbait you name it they're just high quality stuff from them what's this crush 50. we finally got something not bluegill colored that's going to be your 50x see if size comparison to your 100x that's going to be a smaller profile this is crawl fire yep that's a funky color i really dig that that green you get a real muddy water on that that's really going to stand out that green and the chartreuse and it also has very nice red pattern on the bottom next up is another square bill this is another 100x crush that color right there is shad craft kind of a shad off shad color a little bit more olive color to it if i had to say another you know another 100x same as the last one same specs uh, two to five feet. The Swank 77X. Yep. So the Swank 77X uses a very similar body to the Movement 80s. And Baby Bluegill. This reminds me, guys, of the Shad Rat. The bill comes down and kicks out. I used to do damage in uh, smaller lakes up in New York on a Shad Rat. I'm pretty stoked that Six Cents has something like that. A um, little bit different action. It doesn't dive very far. It's more of a wake bait than anything, and the fish just cannot resist it. Nice rattle to it. Um, that's baby bluegill color. Again, another bluegill color. Um, back then, I used to work this around timber. I'd bump it off of lay downs, working on the edge of grass lines, edge of lily pads. You can bump rip rap with it. The possibilities are endless. Just a good all around shallow water bait. And last but not least, this makes me, makes me sad. This is the last thing in the bag. <laughs> now I gotta go tie them all on and catch fish. Guys, this is a Quake 70. This is one of their men, uh, couple of series of lipless crankbaits that they have. This is called Grass Sunfish Color. Um, I don't know, I thought it was more of a crawfish color. It's neat, it's got that bright orange on the belly. Then it kind of fades up. It's got your typical sunfish blue in there. One of the prettiest blues you'll ever see is the blue on a sunfish. It's a bummer we don't have that particular style sunfish down here because you talk about a fish that just looks like it's out of a movie or something like that or something you'd only see in an aquarium. When them sunfish get them real vivid blue colors, it's there's not many fish that are prettier than one of those. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's everything. I mean, look at all this. Quake 70. Swank 77X, Crush 100, Crush 100, Catwalk, Crush 50X, Axle Swim Jig in black and blue. Oh, and that one was a 3 8 guys. I forgot to say that. Quarter Ounce Divine Swim Bait and Blue Truce Flash. A Movement 80X, Finesse F4, <gasps> Munch 40, Vega Frog, Prawns. I'm running out of room. Axis square bill. Provoke 106X in that crazy vendetta color with the purple, silver, and orange. Sweeps that are gonna catch me a 10 pounder Saturday. Five inch fast sinking trace. And to finish it up, a slow sinking six inch trace. Again, guys, this is the six cents garage sale sack. I'm not sure if they still offer it. I have had this for a while. Again, guys, I've just been super busy and we haven't been able to do as many un unboxings. We've just been trying to utilize our time to do some on the water content, but we do love these in unboxings. It's just a different side of what we do. Um, but anyways, guys, again, that's the garage sale sack. If it is available, I'll link it below. If not, I'll just link it to Six Cents and you guys can go check it all out individually. There's also a lot of other neat bundles on there. They have limited edition colored soft plastics, hard bait bundles, pond hop bundles, this bundle, that bundle, every bundle your little heart desires. So without further ado, I've talked way too much. 
I am parched. I have been working in extreme crazy weather. I'm gonna let the boss take it away, guys. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Make sure you guys also follow us on all other social medias like Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. And that's everything. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, Bye guys. guys.